All right, dual race number two. Got to do this all over again, but now for the outside row starters. Nick Kennedy gets up front, and Nathan Orban oh, starts second in the 500, starts second in the dual, or dual race number two. Alright, field is rolling off and I think the 34 has issues here. Kind of pulled off a little more to the right. Check the chat box. Yep, he's got tire damage and he put damage on the 41 of Fisher. Uh, that's not good. That is not good. Okay, so. So that's the only issue so far. So I got two unsponsored cars starting first and third. I think those are the only two. Yeah, they are the only two cars. The very just plain old blue and got a white, black, and red car over there. Yeah. So at a photo finish, Carl Rodriguez won it by four one thousand of a second. Could we see the same again? Well, we'll see. Let's see how wild these guys are. Here we go. Pace cars in. Green flag is out. We're underway. Oh, I'll say pack underway. No race number two. 38 didn't get up to a good start. Can't get that three car push to 27. Has it all help from the 52. But they're already going to go three wide. Oh, little contact there. Here comes the 40 and Danny Bouchard. He had a horrible qualifying session. I bet he's glad that he can uh, try again in the dual race. Although a lot more riskier. But still, there's a chance. Now more cars on the outside. Orman to the front. Three wide for the lead already. Maybe, possibly, unless the three can get a big run. I think he has. And he'll lead the first lap. Three car looks fast. Really fast. Back to three wide. So is the 34 in or out? Alright, he's still in. He'll need a caution quick. Here comes the 52 now. Two Fords pushing each other. Now it goes to the middle. I think he led that lap. No, he did not. Nathan Orman just beat him. How close? To a tenth of thousandths of a second. Or, yeah. Whatever it's called or how it's said. Uh, the 14 car that is driven by Richard Anderson. He now goes to the middle, get getting help from the other Ford. Three still hanging to the lead. Can really get a shove on the top lane. A lot more, a little bit more speed, probably a little bit more grip as well. The 18 of Michael Brown, our clash winner. I think only once. Someone has won the dual race, and then the clash, I believe, I just forgot which season it was. So, Michael Brown trying to be the second driver to do it. If I'm wrong, then he'll be the first driver to do it. But I'm kind of not really certain that he'll be the second. And here goes the 38, yeah, look at that outside line, just able to pull away just a little bit. 
even created an opening for the 38 to pull to the inside and slingshot past the 3, but not clear from the 3. I think that damage the 34 gave to Fisher has slowed him down. He is nowhere near the pack. Orban still led that lap. Good move though, but needed more help. Outside line is definitely the way to go as they go four wide. Well, that's at the rear end of the pack, so it might be a little bit okay. Giving each other a lot of space this time, but they're getting too close when you get to the tri oval. Basically, bouncing off each other. Uh oh, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. 6, 52, 27, 42. And that's the caution that the uh, like see need is to go four wide for the lead. Get ready for a second wreck. Maybe not. I'll say the 96 can clear to three. Yes, yes he can. And finally, someone took that lead away. Four or 38. Oh, maybe the two. I think the 38 might be able to get him. Yes. Just able to edge him out. Okay. Caution's out for the first time. We'll take a look at the replay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hang on. Look at that 48 car of Bouchard. Alright, he's in the middle. Looks like it's all okay. I was looking ahead because it looks like they're going to go four wide up front. And then these guys wrecked instead. Yeah, Bouchard got too close at a 42. They drift up the racetrack. 42 goes sideways. Hooked to 52 and the 6. 27 on the wall, the 6 backs it into the wall. As well, the 52 of Kip Silver Point goes spinning. Silver Point, who finished second in the National Dash, almost won that race. Almost. But recovers and looks to be okay. Alright, we'll take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready for the green. So Lucas has now taken the lead because the 38, you saw him hit the wall kind of hard. So he had the pit. Unless there was something else wrong. Let's take a look. Nope. Nope, nothing else was wrong. It was just him hitting the wall a bit too hard. Green flag. We're back underway. Here goes the two, Mitchell Collins. Looks like he got a better restart. Another driver got caught up in the wreck and the clash. He almost got it, avo almost avoided it. Michael Brown left all alone. Now Patrick Mew gonna help him. There comes the 24. Who's in the 24 this season? Jordan Newman. All alone here, but he's got a big run. Well, the three try to help him. Yep, as well as the 88, but he goes to the middle, holds up the 96. At the line, Brown leads that lap. Not a close one. Might get another photo finish. Might be a little closer, too. Maybe. So far, it's a little bit more calm in a second dual race, but these guys are racing hard. Uh oh. Maybe not actually. No, Tony One doesn't have any help from behind, so. Okay. Eighty-eight. Gonna see you can pick up the thirty-seven. Yep. Armin back up front. Yeah, uh, three car. Yeah, he just want, he needs to stay out front. He wants to stay out front. That didn't take long for him to take the lead back and look at the 88. Big shove from the 37. 
really pushing up front and he slides up and covers a three leaves the 37 out with the 34 38 also rallying his way back up to the field teammates working together yeah they got that right side fixed up pretty good for a pit stop oh oh the 96 and the 34 goes spinning oh the 96 at the end so well hard you can hear it and there's no yellow and now there's the yellow 34 is around in the grass and Trevor Collins is the leader okay let's take a look at the replay you see the 13 the 13 car of Ryan Butcher pushing on the left side uh, not much of a choice there he got to probably pull behind him he can't just slow up so he catches the cut the 34 got him sideways he comes and slams the inside wall at least it wasn't head on, but it's still a hard hit. So, yeah, he comes sliding through the grass and back on the racetrack. Oh, this is going to be another big hit. Yep, right on the driver's door again. Okay, that would trigger the caution. I thought the 96 kept it straight. He just pancaked the wall. That was it. That's why I didn't see it. That's why there was no yellow. So, yeah, big hit for the 96. He's most likely out of this one. All right, our second yellow tonight. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright, so lights are out. We still got all 20 cars out on the racetrack, surprisingly. The 96 of Mew does not, is not going to retire from the race. So it looks like they don't want to start the back. But you know they're going to be slow, so they're going to have to benefit from other people crashing out. And other stuff. Pace car in once again past the halfway point. Green flag is out. A great restart for the 21. 88 8, Harley got going. 37 quickly to the inside. Dexter Black in the 37 car. I believe we drove this car last season too. Yeah, I think so. And he got a little drafting help. And he's going to go right by Trevor Collins. A lot, a lot of speed here. So currently no Toyotas in the top five. Brown is the highest running. So the entire top six, except for Trevor Collins, are Chevys. The other four is the 38, who's back in the top ten. Kyle and Anderson back here in 9th and 10th. A little slow restart for these guys. 34 back here in 18th place. Yeah, I got some damage from that. Well, it's looking to recover from that tire uh, issue he had. Look like that's not going to happen. Or unless maybe it could, he could still win this. And this time the 21 led that lap, so someone finally beat the driver on the outside line, coming to the stripe. So here we go again. Maybe, maybe. Yes. We're gonna go for a wide again. Oh, it's gonna get so tight. They're gonna crash. Or right, wait, wait, wait. Maybe not. Maybe not. Or maybe so. It's the 14. Lost ground. Able hey, to get it back. Still four wide down the back straight away. It's 
Still coming four wide. Into three. Now the 14 is taking the lead. 13 on the top. Still on the top. I think he actually beat Anderson. Yeah, yeah, he did. Well, I thought Anderson was going to lead that one. Can he clear? No, he cannot. He cannot clear. Alright, these guys are giving each other some breathing room. Just enough just to get through the turn. Oh, I got two drivers under 44 seconds. Two under 41. Oh, I thought that damage from Fisher's car was, was slowing him down. And now he's the fastest. Or second fastest. The forwards working together. And the 47 on the bottom line. Coming to the stripe. Two car leads that lap. Oh, 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 here we go, now they're around. Yep. Big crash, several cars involved. A couple of cars, oh, the 47's up and over, or no, that's the 37 up and over. Ah, crap. You know what's gonna happen, kept doing it like that. So it looks like it'll be Collins. Taking the yellow flag. And there it is. Caution is out once again. We'll take a look at the replay. Well, I just took out a lot of good cars. So let's see. The 18 comes down. Cooks the 38. They slide up. And anyone who's pretty much on the top or in the middle line are just along for the ride. 88, the 4, able to get through. Oh, the 4 almost got tagged by his teammate. 42, 48, 27. Yep, they make it through 2. Luckily, none of those guys were involved because someone would have got launched into the fence by the onboard of Michael Brown. So it looks like he won't be the second driver winning the dual race and the clash race. Then we got the 37 go upside down, so that's our second car upside down in speed weeks. Only, uh, no, yeah, group qualifying did have a flip as well. Oh, no, no, that was in the national race, or national qualifying. A slow roll on its roof. So nothing too crazy. I'll take you back to the restart. Three to go and they take the green flag. So the 37, the 18, and the 13 are their first three retirees of the night. Here we go. Green flag is out. We're back underway. Three to go. Fetcher to the inside. All right, he wants the lead. The 88 also making a pass for third. Fetcher edging out the two. Both of them have a Chevy partner helping them, the 4 and the 42 also closing in. 41 trying to pinch that 2 car a little higher, so he won't get that run. But he still got 2 laps, oh the 88 really close, oh! 2 is in the wall! They almost wrecked the 47, boxed in, nowhere to go for him, he has to hold a soul down as well. Close. The 48, the 27, who are all the way at the back of the pack, had damage from the early wreck. Currently 4th and 5th. Alright. Still got a chance to win this thing. Yeah. 
88's got quite a bit of a lead here. Those two are drag racing for second. Okay, now they're single file. 42 backs out. Bouchard's gonna go to the inside. Fisher trying to catch Bouchard. Now trying to take third. Can they get it? Can Fisher get that run? He's closing in a little, little by little. He's got to make the move. The 42 is going to go to the inside. Got the two, the four helping. Here they come. Big run for the 42 of Ryan Pitcher side by side. But looks like the 88 might have it. Maybe not. Maybe so. Checkered flag. Yes, the 88 takes it here at Daytona. He wins the second dual race at Daytona. Where else? Uh, that 42 had a nice run. But the 88 got that outside line. Advantage. He was one car short, but he was still able to beat out Ryan Pitchard. Alright, let's take a look at the four race results. So, the 88 wins it. As Ryan Pitchard second, Collins third, Fisher fourth, Lucas fifth, Bouchard sixth, Kyle seventh, Kennedy eighth, Orman ninth, and Edison tenth. 17 cars finished the second dual race. Yeah, Fisher, he had, a, he had a good chance. He was in the perfect position, but he made the move. He, yeah, he waited too long, and it costed him. So Ryan ended up making the move, boxing him in, so nothing Fisher could do there. If, if we were to go to block, he would have been into the would have flown into the fence. So he ends up finishing fourth, so he would f start in the fourth row. In 8th place. Yeah, I think so. Well, yeah. So that is it for the second dual race. Calvin is our race winner. And we'll now take you to victory lane.